Losives. Puh. Losives. Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here with a quick video on how to remove plosives and other unwanted sounds out of Audacity. Now what are plosives? Plosives are the really strong forced air sounds that we hear sometimes when we say words with P's and B's and T's or other strong consonants. And I think pretty much everyone's probably familiar with these sounds. You've heard it on audio before. It kind of hurts the ear. So we don't want them. They're very, very bad. Now the first step you should take is to try to prevent plosives with using a pop screen or wind filter or something like that. Anything that you can get on Amazon or elsewhere, very easy stuff. But you may still get some sometimes. I know I do. And so if you do get them, you want to know how to get rid of them. So I have a track here that I've recorded. It's a short track. I have purposely made an effort to make some really big plosives in this track. I think this one is the largest one. I don't know if it'll come across if I play it. Let's try it. Puh. Losives. <laughs> if it does come across, it's really kind of funny because I'm overemphasizing that P so much. But if it comes across and you heard that, fingers crossed, I won't know until I'm done with this. But if it comes across and you heard that, it's really, really over exaggerated. And it's kind of an insane plosive that would really hurt the listener's ear uh, if it particularly if it happens over and over again when you're listening to a video. You can get away with maybe one plosive here and there, but if it's consistent, it, people will shut off your video. They're, they're not going to listen to it. So how do we do this? What we do is we highlight the area of the plosive. And I'm going to zoom in, and I'm actually going to show you on this track, I'm going to show you what this looks like because you heard that one. Hopefully you heard it. Hopefully it came across, but we see what wa normal waveforms look like. Here's normal waveforms. And here is a plosive right there. You get that screwy waveform. This is the one that I played for you, the extremely screwy waveform. So you can actually see plosives. I can almost do plosive repair to a track without ever even hearing the track. That's how, that's how much you can see them oftentimes. So what you want to do to remove a plosive, I'll take this one first. I'm going to select the area that has the screwy part of the waveform, which looks like it goes to right about here. And then the waveform starts to normalize after that. So I'm only selecting the area and I'm doing that by dragging the mouse, selecting a spot, dragging the mouse. That's it. I'm only selecting an area that the waveform is really kind of screwy. And that's all you want to do. Do not select outside of that. Then go into your equalization. And oh, by the way, the reason I'm saying don't select outside of that area is because you will make anything that doesn't have a plosive that you apply this to sound ho horrible. So you don't want to do that. So only select the area, then go into effects and equalization like we just did here. And then you, you should be in either a draw or a graphic mode. If you're in the draw mode, click over to the graphic mode. If you're already in the graphic mode, stay here. What you want to do is you want to drag these down. You want to start dragging this line down, probably about the first four down, and then you want to start lifting it up a little bit at a time, gradually, if I can drag the buttons. So what you want to do, and I'm going to do this all here, you want a line that looks like this. And obviously I already have this in here, so I can kind of cheat it. So you want a line that looks like this. Once you have the line that looks like this, click on Save and Manage Curves. And then click on, I'm not sure if this will say name or rename, but the one that you're on should say unnamed. Mine is obviously already done, but the one that you're on should say unnamed. You click on the name or rename, name it to plosive repair or whatever you, you want to call yours. Obviously I call mine plosive repair. Once you're done naming it, click OK, click OK again out of this box. You end up back here and then you can just make sure it selects, you have plosive repair selected in your select curve box here. And I want you to look up here and watch and see what happens when I apply this plosive repair. Click OK. Look at the difference in that waveform. It normalizes the waveform. That strong P sound, that strong forced air sound is gone. And now I'm going to do that to this too. And we can see this, I'm actually going to select the entire waveform because it's completely screwy. And let's watch it on this. I go effect, equalization, and now we already have our plosive repair saved. So I'm going to go under collect, select curve, select my plosive repair that's saved, and let's watch it. I'm going to move this down. Let's watch this waveform as I click OK. 
Look at that. What a big difference. Now we can see on this one, let's examine it a little bit more closely. We can see this is still kind of a screwy waveform. It's all taken care of back here. This other end that was all messed up back here is taken care of. But I want to do it. I want to apply it one more time. And this is rare. Normally you don't need to apply it more than once, but every once in a while when you get something that looks really crazy, when you have a really, really strong plosive, you may want to apply it more than once. Again, back into effects, back into equalization, back down to plosive repair. Let's watch it. Let's watch what happens. I click OK. Much better. Now that's going to have a much better sound. And let's try it. We heard it at first. I don't know if these are going to come through, but let's see what happens. Plosives. So you can still hear I'm, I, I have that I'm saying that strong plosive, that strong p sound, but you can no longer hear that really forced air that would typically hit the ear. And I'm really hoping that came across on the audio. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Now you can use this technique as well. This is kind of cool because you can use this technique if you have sounds in your audio where you're speaking. And say, for instance, you have a mic hit or a wire hit or something like that. I, you can sometimes end up with like a boom sound. I, I have that happen to me sometimes and I don't even know what causes it where I have sort of like a low boom sound in, in my audio. If you use a plosive repair wherever that happens, but only very, be very, very selective of the area, use it only where the, the mic hit or whatever unwanted sound there is and apply the plosive repair and you may be able to minimize the sound. You won't be able to eliminate it completely, but you may be able to minimize the sound. Now, if you do have something that you want to eliminate completely, for instance, I have this sound in the beginning of this track. What this sound is, and I, I apologize to your ears in advance, but what this is, is it's a sound. I hate that sound with a passion. Always remove it out of any of my audio tracks because I really, really hate that sound. If you have something like this that's a, a standalone, and many of you probably already know this, there is a silence audio button here. So select whatever sound it is you don't want, click the silence audio. And so that can work for anything that's standalone, not while you're talking. But if it's something that's happening while you're talking, you may be able to try this plosive repair technique on it and see what happens, see how it works. So something for you to try anyway. And I think that's about it for today. Hopefully this plosive te technique, this plosive repair technique helps you out. And if it does and you like this, please do make sure you hit the like button. And if you are not familiar with my channel, it would be awesome if you took a look around, see if you like the content and click subscribe if you do. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye now.